Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video will be showing you how to set up a Darrow wallet name for your wallet address. Now, this is a feature I had absolutely no idea existed up until last night, so I wanna thank Asylum from the Darrow development team for showing this to me, and now I can get it out to you guys. So let's say somebody wants to send you some Darrow coins. Now, normally you would have to get your wallet address and then give it to them, so they would need that information to send you your Darrow coins. Now with this feature, what you can do is you can register a name to your wallet address on the Darrow network, which allows you to actually only need to give that person your wallet name and not even reveal your wallet address at all. So from what I've been told, when the Darrow GUI wallet comes out, this will be a fully automated and integrated process. So you won't have to worry about doing this. But if you're like me, you find all cool features, you wanna get your hands on them right away. So I did this last night and uh, you know, kind of learned a couple of things along the process. So if you're one of those people who can't wait, you can follow this guide and uh, do the exact same thing. So all you need for this process is you need your node up and synced to the network and you're gonna need your command line interface wallet opened to your wallet account. There is one more program that you're gonna need. It's called Gitbash and I'm gonna open it up here on the screen right now for you guys to see. So it's git4windows.org. So what this is gonna allow you to do, and you know, pardon me if I get some of this stuff wrong, I'm not a coder and I'm not a developer, but basically what this allows you to do is use some of the Linux code that's in the Dare documentation on Windows. So when you do download Git for Windows, basically all you're gonna need to do in the installation is make sure you choose Notepad when it asks you which program you wanna edit with. And then outside of that, you can just move through the installation and then you'll get a terminal window, which you can use to put in your Linux code that is on this Darrow documentation right here. So basically there's two steps. Step one will be checking and pinging the servers, the Darrow network to see if the username that you would like is available. And then step two will be registering that username with your Darrow wallet address. All right, so let's get rocking. So you've installed Gitbash now, which is the third party terminal you're gonna need for this process. So once you do, make sure you open the window. So I'm just gonna do that real quick right now. Open up Gitbash here. And now I have a command window open that I'm just gonna move on up here. And now what we need next is our node to be opened and our command line interface wallet to be opened. So I'm just gonna open up my Darrow file here and I'm going to open up my node. No special settings are required here as it automatically connects to the Darrow server. So we can just move this over here. And then the last thing is going to be to open our Darrow command line interface wallet. So for this step, you're gonna to need to change your launch command for the Darrow wallet. So what I did was I just went to my wallet and I created a shortcut. Once you create the shortcut, you can go to properties and then add this little add-on here after the typical, the normal target, which is dash dash RPC dash server. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're connected to the server. That way we can ping the Darrow network to see if usernames are available and to register them. So now that we have set this up, we can just hit okay. We can open up our wallet. And once we do this, we can log into our wallet account. So I'm just gonna log into my demo wallet. So RBM crypto demo.db, put in my password and I've successfully opened my wallet. Okay, so now our wallet is open. There's my wallet address. And now this is the wallet address that we wanna create a custom name for. So now at this point, I'm just gonna minimize this file and bring on over there the command line wallet because we need these two commands here on the Dara documentation. So the first command, like I said earlier, is to basically check to see if your name that you'd like to register to your wallet address is available on the Dara network. And if it is, then we'll be able to register it. So what we need to do now is we need to copy this command line and we are going to ping the network to see if our username that we would like to attach to our wallet is available. So all you need to do is replace this line right here where it says test username with the username that you would like to put onto your wallet. If it's easier for you, copy the line and paste it into notepad and then remove this here and put in the font that you'd like. That's what I did and it makes it a lot easier so what I'll do now is I'll just copy that line from my notepad and I'm gonna paste that into the window. And where I'm gonna paste this line is in Gitbash. I don't need to paste it into my node or into my wallet. It's this window right here. So I'm just gonna paste this in right now and it's gonna ping a network and it's gonna say error. 
leaf not found, which basically means that the username that I would like or the username that I'm looking for is not found on the network. So that means it's available. So now we can move on to step two. So step two is registering and associating the Darrow wallet to the username. So now all I need to do is copy this line here, bring it on over to my notepad and replace where it says test username with once again, the username that I want to register on the network. I'm just going to paste this into Git bash. And I'll see that a transaction has occurred on the Darrow network and it is registering my wallet address to RBM crypto demo. Now to double check this, what we can do is we can copy down the transaction ID and we can go to the Darrow block explorer and we can paste in this transaction ID and it will show that we have now registered RBM crypto demo to my wallet address you see here on the screen. So let's go check that right now. All right, now if we take a look through the transaction here, you can see that we've registered a name, RBM crypto demo, and we registered it to this wallet address right here. So now my wallet address is attached to the name RBM crypto demo, and it is registered on the Darrow network. Now, one important thing to note is that each individual name is case sensitive. So if you want to send it to this address right here, you have to paste it in as RBM crypto demo with the RBM and C as capitals. If you do it with all lowercase, it won't send to my address. So that's one important thing to make sure you remember when you are sending coins to a wallet name versus the wallet address. And now there's one more thing we can do to double check to make sure this has worked and our name has been registered on the Darrow network. We can go back to our documentation and try step one over again and see what the network says to us. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the first command again to search to see if RBM crypto is available with the RBMNC as capitals. And I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see now that the RBM crypto demo account name has been registered to my wallet address and the status is okay. Now, one more thing to note is that you can create multiple names for the same wallet address. So basically all you would need to do is basically just redo this process multiple times for your same wallet. If you want to have, let's say RBM crypto demo, RBM crypto demo in all capitals, all lowercase, you can register uh, multiple names to one wallet. So it's not just a one-time thing. That way, you know, if somebody by accident does send it to, let's say RBM crypto with a small C, you register to that to your wallet address as well. That way there won't be any issues. Now for one just quick demonstration before we end the video, I can show you now that if I enter RBM crypto demo, you'll see now that the destination address for where I want to send Darrow coins to is legitimate. That means this is a green, it is a good address that I can send Darrow coins to. So now you can see that actively my Darrow wallet address is linked to my wallet name. And that's it for this tutorial, showing you how to create a wallet name for your Darrow wallet address. Once again, I want to thank Asylum and the rest of the Darrow development community for answering questions I've had over the past couple of days, which has enabled me to get these videos out to you guys as quickly as possible. I will most likely be doing one more video in the coming weeks, showing you guys the Darrow GUI wallet when it is released. We'll be walking through that to show you pretty much all of the features. That way you're comfortable on the new interface. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, don't forget to put them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you all as soon as possible. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.